When I started this series, I barely knew how to survive. There were a few days of just hoping I didn't starve to death. But then I found the valley. An absolutely stunning sanctuary, nestled in the mountains, surrounded by fresh water, plenty of food everywhere. Every resource I could ever need just steps away. So I decided to set up base, starting with a cozy 7x8 home hole in the ground, which I quickly learned had some defects. My lack of a roof was causing some issues, so I converted it into a cozy A-frame. A delightfully easy task to complete when the game gives you all of these options in terms of slanted roofing blocks. I then added a cellar in the basement and storage in the attic. Soon after, I began having some disagreements with my neighbors, but that came to a quick resolution. After evicting my neighbors, I was left with a lot of open space, which I quickly began to fill up with firewood, fire pits, forges, smithing stations, everything a Bronze Age settler would need. I did, however, begin to run out of room, so I converted the bear pit into a tower, built it up about three floors, topping it off with a rooftop terrace slash garden and an iron and glass refinery, leaving plenty of room on the bottom two floors to branch off of in the future. But for now, let's get right back into upgrading the base. I think I've collected everything to make these windmill rotors. Yep. Okay, there we go. I'll probably make more than one. I'll start with this one though. And then I'm assuming you just add the, yeah, you just add the sails. All right. Now I just need a bunch more hemp and I'm good to go. Or no, no, flax. I need more flax. Hemp is a, uh, that's a feed the beast thing. Okay, so you will need to craft one windmill rotor. Got it. At least four sails working on it, as well as a few axles and gears. The windmill requires at least five blocks of vertical space and usually gets more wind the higher it is. That sounds like the top of the tower. Oops, I, I don't think it's supposed to face that way. Okay. I'm like 90% sure that's backwards, but that's the way it like wants me to place it. I'm gonna have to put like a block in front of it and then place it that way. Moment of truth, can I add sails to it? I can, can I add more than one set? I can, it's spinning, let's go. Now what do I do with it? It looks cool. I think it was under mechanical. Mechanical power. Okay, mechanical power can currently be used to mechanize milling, to automate working iron blooms or smithing any type of metal plate, and to power the Archimedes screw for transporting items. All right. Yeah, that sounds pretty practical. I need a wooden axle, pretty much the same recipe as the rotor, just no resin. And then I think I put it right here. Okay, that looks like it's working. I can't be sure, but I, I that it's moving. <laughs> It's moving. Oh, I love a good windmill. Look at that. So nice. Wind speed 18%, 60 kilonewtons. Not too shabby, I don't know what any of that means. Oh yeah, this is gonna look nice. I think I can add like two more sails to it so it's gonna get even bigger. We can go bigger. And then it said something about gears. We got angled gears, large wooden gears, large gear section. Uh, um, uh, seems like there's a lot of gears. This might get complicated, but uh, anything I can automate right now is going to be a huge time saver. I'm gonna at least throw a little bit of a floor down up there so I don't, yeah, fall. <laughs> I'm gonna start by setting up the kern, the kern, the, the however, however you say it. The thing that grinds up the grain. I wanna make some flour. This doesn't look like it's working. Let's try something else here. I've been standing here trying to figure out how to get this thing working. And I think I've come to the conclusion I need an angled gear. I need sticks, more fat, resin, and then what else did I need? The wood and then the hammer and the chisel again. And then I don't, I don't know where I put, oh yeah, and the saw, I need the saw somewhere. Okay, this is one of the most confusing crafting recipes I've ever seen. 
And I got it wrong. All right. Oh, okay. I almost had it. I just got to move the saw and the hammer around and then I should be able to make it. Yeah, there it is. Oh my God. I don't know where to place it. I don't play. Uh, that's not right. That doesn't look right. That can't be right. Okay. Yep. This looks this. No, no. Yep. Okay. We got it. Yes. Yes. All right. Now I'm hoping I put this in here and it automates it. Yep. Yep. Automated flower. I don't have to stand here and grind it for an hour. Thank God. I will have that on autopilot. And then I can also do like borax and stuff in there, I think. So that's a big time saver. I love this thing. I love it. It looks so cool. I've started uh, mapping out and digging canals. And my main goal is to have them all lead from the lake in the distance there straight to my house. So my next goal is going to be to flatten this hilly area here and then build like a boathouse slash manor. And then eventually I want to like continue these canals and then maybe even surround the house and build like a moat with a wall around it because that would just be fucking sick. But I'll, I'll try not to get ahead of myself here. All these tiny lakes are on different levels. So I'm, I'm hoping I can go back like back up a waterfall but I'm not quite sure yet. Let's moment of truth on this one. Uh, yeah, okay, it goes back up. This shouldn't be a problem. Uh, yeah, it might not be a problem for me, but it does seem to be a bit of an ecological disaster in its current state. Uh, rip to the fish. You do have to break a few eggs to make an omelet. And in this case, some fish are gonna have to die in the name of this canal. I want to see if the flower is done here. I would think it is. Oh my god. Where's my sword? Where's my sword? This is a bad time to check the mill. Get off the tower. Okay, see ya. Let's see here. We got 42 flower. It's definitely slower than doing it by hand, but at least you don't have to do it by hand, so... Nothing better than kicking back, relaxing, sword at the ready. Just admiring the scenery. It's lovely. 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 Everything's fine. It's lovely. So I've pretty much flattened the whole area towards the lake. And I still have to fill it with water, but the canal basically runs right under where I'm going to have the manor. Someone left a comment saying I could strip the bark off these logs, and um, I love the look of it. So I might have to convert the whole build to these stripped logs instead of the normal logs. It's a lot of work. Half my playthrough has just been me spending time making things look nicer anyway, so I'm at peace with it. The second floor of this longhouse here, the floor that I'm on, I kind of want it to just be like an ornate hallway that leads into the canal room. I might remove the window on the tower there and just build a doorway. I probably spent 30 minutes chiseling that and I'm just gonna throw it away. Kinda hurts, but all in the name of progress. I stole a bunch of wallpaper from one of those uh, abandoned underground homes. What the f- what? I'm gonna need a moment to take this in. What am I looking at? So I don't know if it was really theft, but I took it. Uh, I want to know how to look in the hall here. Okay, it may look like thousand year old wallpaper all torn up on my walls, but I kind of like the rugged vibe. It fits, it fits the rest of the house. I've kind of just mapped out the foundation of the manor with cobblestone and stone brick, and the canal is pretty much ready to go. Maiden voyage out of the new uh, canal. Oh yeah, that's coming together. That's gonna look nice. Down the waterfall. No dead, f I see live fish today. That's a good sign, we like that. Nice rainy day, my armor has seen better days, but uh, the canal works, so I'm happy. Oh, look at it in the distance, look at it. So nice. Now I don't have to worry about getting eaten by wolves along the shore. I can just zip right across. This is just, this is just perfect. The boat stops here. 
at some point I want to build a canal that kind of runs all the way up into the next lake. I think it's quite the altitude difference, like six or seven blocks, so it might take a while to figure it out, but I think it'd be cool. It was way too dark outside. I kept running into wolves, so I'm just uh, I'm searching these caves. I've already been through like six of these abandoned homes. Okay. Ooh, bismuth bronze lantern, light level 18. What is a torch? 14. I mean, I'll, I'll take it. Doesn't seem that much better, but I'll take it. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that lights up the room. How is that only four light levels more? It, it feels like I'm, I don't know, this this feels like an LED light. Like it's just like, it's almost natural lighting. Oh, what's this? Pear tree leaves fruiting. What, what, what was that? They just ripened run, right in front of my very eyes. Okay, perfect timing. What are the odds of that? I don't think I could have asked for a more successful maiden voyage. Uh, these canals are going to make things a lot easier. That tree had 48 pears on it. That's insanity. I'm going to be well fed for a while. The reason I chiseled out these pillars is so I can have a little more headspace in this like uh, main area here. I didn't initially do this in the tower and it feels a bit claustrophobic. And I definitely want to make the manor section here feel a little more luxurious. These debarked log pillars and beams not only help add some texture to the build, but they're going to help me outline the next couple floors as well. This, uh, this base building has been brought to you by uh, pear and red meat soup. It's, uh, it's keeping me going, and it'll probably be keeping me going well into the winter. It's been raining for like six days now. Ever since I went out on that voyage, it just has not stopped. I've just been chiseling through the storm though. I uh, add a little accent to the canal and a couple windows into the stone here. Not really windows, just holes in the wall. I also made these leaded glass windows, which I think work really nicely on the rounded portions of the base. I do need more glass though, so I'm going to have to make a pulverizer to crush up quartz. Alright, that's the pulverizer frame and the pounder cap's done. Now I just need a toggle switch and then to figure out how to connect this to a new windmill. And then I think when I get it running, I can start pulverizing quartz to make glass more efficiently. I'm not sure if it does anything else, but I definitely need more glass because I'm going to want a lot of windows. I really like the lead glass windows, so that's my goal. Okay, so with that, I can make the pulverizer toggle. And then I'm one step closer to making the entire thing. Okay. So I just, I need an axle, I need my chisel, I need a hammer, where's my hammer, right here, and then I need the plate, which is right here, and that doesn't work, why doesn't it work? I got the recipe wrong, that is the story of my life today, I have been, pulverizer toggle, okay, it's in the top corner, this, like this, oh my god, all these recipes, <laughs> I just, there's too many of them. On the go, I can't remember. There it is. All right, okay, okay. That looks good. I definitely have this set up sideways. I'm gonna have to spin it around. Place, place it sideways like this. Uh, add the toggle. Connect some axles to it. There we go. Okay, that looks promising. Yep. And then, oh no, I'm gonna want a an axle here. No, oh my god, this is... <laughs> I both don't know what I'm doing. My inventory is full, which is entirely my fault, and it's just making this even more of a nightmare. Okay, okay, no. Oh my god. 
Okay, I've decided to set up the gears first, and I think this is gonna work. That should work. It's spinning. Put the toggle in it. Is it gonna? It's spinning. Okay. Listen, I'm 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 I'm, I'm down for the uh, the smithing and the Bronze Age stuff, but as soon as I get into this Iron Age stuff, I I can't wrap my head around the physics. Me me smash rock with pickaxe. Good. Me make intricate gear machinery bad. I don't know if I'm doing it correctly, but it's working. So we take those. We take those small victories. Very nice. I also want to set up a helv hammer so I can get some metal sheets going a bit quicker. I'm going to need to forge some more iron to put the uh, helv hammer together. And I don't have enough flax to put together a third windmill or the sails for a third windmill yet. So I'm just going to place the base down here and then I'll come back to this later because yeah I'm gonna need some more iron but I want to use the iron I have right now to make tools because I would prefer to get this base done before the winter hits but uh, uh we'll see that might be wishful thinking I was messing around with the debarked logs by accident I was trying to cut them into planks but if you use the saw on the debarked logs you get something called a where is it a support beam and I, I think it's purely decorational you can place it vertical horizontal diagonal like it, it makes really crisp straight lines you literally just click point a point b and it creates it and this has got me very excited because i can use this as like baseboards or like window trim door trim like literally anything and it's going to take me a fraction of the time so i'm very excited This second floor above the canal is going to be so, so big. It's going to be such a nice house. I'm, I'm having so much fun putting this together. I can't explain it. This, this game just gives you so many possibilities to play with when you're ba doing anything really, but base building especially. This is day 10 of my pear and meat stew diet. Uh, well, this, <laughs> this meat's actually a bit spoiled. That's okay. I'm, I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm still going strong. I should probably go stock up on some fresh meat, but I just keep getting carried away in here. Okay, this is the first time I'm seeing it in daylight, and I really like it. It adds like a, a curved effect to the interior. I, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And the stained glass windows, it's just, it's just all so nice. Can I add a little, a little trim? I can. Oh my god. Did I mention I love it? This is, this is perfect because you can't chisel, because it, it considers the stained glass a block, so I can't chisel inside of it. And this this fixes that issue. I can add a nice little window frame. It really just keeps that, that level of depth in the pixels. I Oh, it looks so good. This, this portion of the base here. Whoa, what happened to my map? Okay, this must be part of the new update. I'm, hmm. Oh, they've got different layers. Terrain, waypoints, prospecting. You can turn them on and off. Oh, okay. Hmm, cool. Okay, anyways, well, I, this this section of the base here, the manor that I'm working on, is going to be so, so much nicer than the rest of my base. I might have to, like, completely overhaul everything else after this. But I'm okay with that, because I'm loving it. It looks great from a bird's eye view, too. There's, there's just a bit too much cobble and stone, so I might break up the second floor with... I, I saw some plaster blocks that I could make with uh, quicklime and sand, and I think it would really add like a, a flat texture on top of the, the grainy cobblestone. That should give it like a rugged to refined uh, gradient, and it, it'll help match with the rest of the base. And then we'll have like a solid stone foundation with like a Tudor style manor on top, and I, I think that's gonna look pretty classy. So that's my next move. I am definitely vibing with the Tudor style uh, plaster here. It looks even better on the inside in my opinion. I have to I have to work on the outside a little bit. But the leaded glass inside the plaster beams with the support beams as trim and, and the window frame, it just it's coming together. I really like it. It actually feels like a home. Even though it is just two walls right now, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm definitely gonna need more support beams though, and that means a lot more pine wood. Look at 
this. Perfect. I'm trying to showcase these wooden beams, and you're making a ruckus. Get out of my water. I'm going to try running a support beam across this uh, turret to kind of give it a little more color and just make it look a little more interesting and stand out against the wall. Okay, I like it, Picasso. Do the same thing on the other side. This side's a bit longer, so we should get a better look at it here. Yeah, yeah, this will work. I like it. I like it. There's a few rooms in the bottom of the manor that I want to use for like specific... Oh great, there's a portal in my house for specific storage. So this side I'm going to use as like the armory. So I'll have all my bows and swords and shields in here just so I can like grab and go. And then I want to figure out how to make bread because my supply of pear and red meat stew is slowly dwindling. But I have a bunch of flour so I should probably learn how to, uh, how to use that. I'm going to start with the armory though and craft some extra weapons to have them on hand. I'm running low on oak wood. I had a bunch of it uh, for tanning, but I need to head out and get some more because I want to make like all my furniture out of it. I've been using it for the floors in the manor so it doesn't match the pillars. It was just looking a bit too much pine wood heavy, so I want to spice it up a bit. I usually see, yeah, this giant tree on my way to the trader, and I never have enough inventory space to uh, chop it down, but I cleared my inventory for this one. It's coming down today. Getting there. It looks like it's almost broken. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. Oh, it's so much more than I thought it was going to be. That's insane. My frame rate, I don't know if it's the an the new animations or it's my frame rate, but my game seems to be lagging. Just the amount of logs I'm picking up. It just keeps getting cozier and cozier. I can't wait to move some uh, decorations in here. Jesus Christ! Oh my god! I will definitely be uh, avoiding the top of the tower for now. I want to build a moat, like, like run the canal. What the hell? <gasps> oh no. Should I be outside right now? Oh my God, that looked deadly. That was frightening. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the canals, I want to build, I want to extend the canal system off of this like tiny lake and kind of wrap it all the way around the base. So from, from this side all the way around to the front, loop it back in, and then build a moat. Like, it's going to be a moat, and then I'll build a wall around it. Because I'm starting to see some fall colors here. I think we're going to be heading into winter soon. And if I can have, like, walled off sections of my base come next spring, farming is going to be a very viable option. So I will make that my main goal in the winter, and then hopefully come the spring I won't have to worry too much about food. Hopefully. I used a bunch of the flax flour I had to make some dough, and then I built these uh, fire clay ovens. And I keep lighting them with these torches, but it seems to burn the bread a little bit, which I, yeah, see, I, I think I'm doing something wrong here. I don't know if I need a fire underneath of them. Okay, temperatures not going up, but it's not going down. Is this going to work? Uh, maybe. No, no, the temperature's going down. <laughs> okay. First fill with three to six firewood. Okay, yeah, uh, I, I may or may not have skipped the first step on the guidebook. Uh, I can remedy this. at 227 226 degrees so i think as long as i keep an eye on it it won't burn 
I'm just gonna sit here and wait. Oh, something happened. Flax bread, part baked, 217 degrees. What's the difference? Do I need a higher temperature or something? There's, seems to be part baked and just the bread. Do I just leave it in for a bit longer? Maybe? I'll just keep waiting. Oh shit, did I burn it? Uh, did I, am I burning it? I, let's see here. Flax bread, fresh for eight days. Okay, I don't think I burnt it. I think I successfully made bread without burning it. So let's go. So now that I got the most intricate part, like this room over here done, I can start focusing on like the framework of the tower and the rest of the second floor here. I'm gonna lay it out with the debarked logs and then build the wall around it. So I'm well on my way to the third floor. I'm not gonna do like a complete interior design on the tower and the extra rooms on the second floor here. I'm just gonna focus on getting the room complete with the walls and then work my way up. Just, just so I have a place to stay in the winter and I'm not freezing to death. But I will of course be beautifying it later. That's, that's the best part. <laughs> Pretty sure I just said like 10 minutes ago I was gonna stop beautifying it and just get the rooms done, but uh, here I am, chiseling away again because I can't stop myself. But I mean, like, come on, like, I mean, it's just too much fun. I'm using these half slabs because not only will it use less resources overall, it's also just gonna feel more spacious in there, and I definitely wanna make this like feel as big as possible on the inside while still looking like a, a small-ish manor on the outside. That's usually why I use half slabs for floors as well because it gives you just a little bit more height and it just doesn't feel as claustrophobic. I really want to build a fireplace, like a two-way fireplace that can reach this room that I'm in and also the one across the hall here. I don't know if it will actually be practical or if it'll burn the house down, but uh, I think it would be cool to be able to see right through it. I'm fairly certain there's enough stone here where it won't burn my house down, but please don't burn my house down. All right, moment of truth. Am I gonna lose eight hours of work and burn down my whole house or is this just gonna function like a normal fireplace. I'm leaning towards functioning like a normal fireplace right now, but I might be a little bit biased. Yeah, this is exactly what I had in mind and it looks awesome. I love it. And the house didn't burn down, so that's a plus as well. I don't think chimneys are actually practical in this game, but as long as it looks cool, I'm gonna do it. Armory is pretty much done. I chiseled out the window to let in a bit of light. It's not really working, but I'm going for a dingy armory look. That's what I'm gonna tell myself at least. Fall is definitely passing me by here. I'm gonna head out and collect as many berries as I can and do one last, uh, one last adventure before the snow starts falling. I know the layout of this mountain, and I know there's bears and wolves out here. Uh, wolves aren't really a problem. The bears can still one-shot me. And the further I go here, the less I've clear-cut the mountain, so I gotta be very careful. There is so much lead and so much copper in the sandstone over here. Which is fine by me, because I'm loving the leaded glass windows. The whole backside of this mountain is just scattered with lead and copper. Like, look at this, it's crazy. <laughs> I will definitely come back for this in the winter. I love the fall colors. It's the calm before the storm. Oh, is that is that meteoric iron? Yes, it is. I'm gonna mark it. Uh, I should just dig it up right now, though. Oh God, damn it! No, not now, not now, not now. It's really gonna hit me with a temporal storm while I'm half in a hole here. That's just mean, man. That's just mean. It's so dark and 
the drifters just keep coming, but I want that iron. I'm not leaving until I get it. I'm just gonna grab that iron and run back to the trader. Oh my god, get away from me. Oh my god, that sounds so funky in the storm. I just wanted my iron. Is that too much to ask? I am I'm going right back to the trader and just camping out until this is over. Hey Leo, I got some age crates for you, buddy. Okay, 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 okay. You're only uh, you're only taking two. Okay, don't yell at me. Okay, I got enough. I got enough to worry about right now, man. My my sanity being one of those things. Look at it. That wheel is just spinning. The storm is waning, so I'm gonna head over and grab that first set of uh, meteoric iron that I found near Leo here. I'm gonna dig that up and then continue adventuring. I think it's right here. This looks like the spot. No shot, they're still spawning. Stop. Oh, come on. I just, just let me. I just want my iron. Okay, okay, okay. Are you still alive? Why are you still alive? Okay, 16's not that bad. back from my adventure. I was gone for maybe five days. I traded a bunch of gears. I got a bunch of lead and it is definitely the winter season. Bring it on. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, check out our other wild gameplay videos and series, and stay tuned for more Vintage Story episodes. See ya.